Because I remember when we served with him in the Senate, I was the majority leader. He was my counterpart as the leader of minority. <clears throat> One day he told the speaker, Mr. Speaker, sir, Kithure Kindiki is a good man, but he is working for a bad man. And I think he was right. With the benefit of hindsight, <laughs> with the benefit of hindsight, I think uh, he was right. Uh, and today we are in the same formation. I'm very proud to have been associated with my brother Moses Wetangula, the, team, the Ford Kenya party leader, a senior lawyer in this country, and the other, whatever else position will be announced by appropriate levels. Put your hands together and welcome Moses Wetangula. Karibu. Excellency, President-elect, colleagues, party leaders, governors present, what uh, the good professor has not said is when I said he was a good man working for a bad man, he got so agitated, then I told him, stop behaving like you're being electrocuted on your chair. He became even more agitated and was nearly thrown out of the house for disorder. But it has come to pass, and now him and I are associated with and working with a good man. We start this afternoon to welcome our UDM brothers and sisters to a coalition of the free, a coalition with space and a coalition where freedom of expression is sacrosanct. We formed this coalition because this country needed one. This country has gone through what my good old friend and classmate, Speaker Muturi, calls slave owner mentality that people are actually owned by people and their thinking is in a closet locked by people. You'll enjoy the freedom that one of my friends once said is like taking off gumboots at midday in the Sahara and you feel how your feet will feel. We are here to welcome you and encourage you and say you are not invitees. You are brothers and sisters and we are now a family. And our present elect has indicated very clearly that his election is a turning point in the history of the politics of Kenya. His election has actually shattered a devastating blow to politics of ethnicity, and sectarian politics. Politics where people think that what they say becomes the law and what they don't like becomes unlawful. Yeah. Happiness even in the economic difficulties. And there comes Your Excellency, the Shakespearean saying that uneasy is the head that wears the crown. The crown is now on your head and you have to carry and solve the problems of Kenyans. We're going to work together as a team. This is the first time in the history of Kenya that a person seeking to be the president of Kenya went to every corner of the country and asked people, if you elect me, what do you want me to do for you? If you elect us, what is your expectation? Because there has always been this arrogant disposition of us in leadership thinking we know what Kenyans want and we impose on them our values. Now we are going into government knowing that a mamamboga in Kiambu and a mamamboga in Kitale have as much legitimate expectations and the right to tell us what they want as a bank manager in Nairobi. Two days ago, Your Excellency, a CEO of a big corporation called me 
and he called me on ordinary line. He has, for the last two years, never called me other than on WhatsApp. And I asked him, what's the problem? Today you're calling me on a different medium. He said, but the president-elect announced that sniffing on our phones is over. And now we are free to make calls without looking over our shoulder. If a person at that high is feeling that way, you can imagine the person who has been traumatized and tormented by the police feels. They now feel liberation is here. So, Excellence, as we move on to end, we want to encourage ourselves that we should not rest on the laurels of our victory. That we must, in fact, pay more attention to everything that we were told and this big house called Kenya Kwanzaa will continue growing. And we want to tell our worthy competitors that you have absolutely no capacity in law, in fact, or under the Constitution to fetter anybody from associating with another. Kenyans fought for this Constitution and engraved in the Bill of Rights and the right to associate with whoever they are. People will make choices. If they are wrong choices, they are their choices. They are not yours. So don't lecture anybody about mundane provisions of the law that are inimical to inconsistency with the Constitution. We, as Kenya Kwanzaa, will uphold the Constitution, and we welcome everybody, even those who have been told that they can't leave, just open the constitution and ask them to show you where it says you can't associate with so and so. And we'll continue growing, but more importantly, we are happy that UDM, Governor Roba, my friend and my neighbor, thank you for thinking wisely because you have not made a bad decision. This is a decision that will make a big difference in this format, in this setup, you will not look over your shoulder to greet somebody. You will not look over your shoulder to whisper to somebody. And you will not look over your shoulder to make a phone call. You live freely like we expect everybody to do. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I take this opportunity to say congratulations for leading this pack to victory. Those who are shouting, don't be distracted. Because the victory you have gotten with us is a victory deserved. You campaigned, you spoke, Kenyans listened to you, Kenyans appreciated what you said, and they were able to make a difference and choose between boys and men, girls and women. And here we are. Thank you.